What is up everyone, welcome back to another episode of Gat Talks. Today we are going to be taking a look at a very simple yet effective smart bracelet. Uh, before we begin today, uh, this is the Q66 smart watch bracelet, which is also IP68 waterproof, which is pretty impressive for something of its price, which means it's professional waterproof. And before we begin today, if you guys have not yet already, please make sure to subscribe to my channel as I'll be coming out with new regular videos on the latest gadgets, electronics, and smartwatches. So make sure you guys don't miss out on that. And if you guys do want to purchase this watch after this video, you guys can use my affiliate link, which will be in the video description below. And I will make a commission at no extra cost to you. It will take you to eBay. And you can purchase this watch from trusted sellers. Uh, this watch goes from anywhere between uh, $20 to $25, depending on the website and seller that you choose to get it from. But if you get it somewhere in the low 20s, uh, that's a deal. So let's begin uh, and explore some of the features on this watch. This is a very simple bracelet that does quite a bit uh, for what it is. Uh, I say this because if you have the features on this for um, a smartwatch, an actual watch, it would be, I don't know, somewhere around the $40, $50. But for a bracelet itself, um, it's quite cheaper. So uh, we're going to explore some of the features on this watch and see what it has to offer. So it only has one wash screen. And it's a semi-touch screen, so what that means is you can only operate this bracelet by pressing uh, this one button right here, and it goes forward with the features. So it has quite a bit of the, uh, the basic fitness function features. It's going to have your pedometer, your steps, your calories counter, your distance counter, your heart rate monitor, your blood pressure monitor, these two are very important to me, and it's why the main reason why I actually get smartwatches. This is the sleep monitor, which I don't really use because I don't like wearing uh, a tracker to sleep. It's kind of uncomfortable. You can also have your uh, message notifications. Your different sport mode. Stopwatch. Anti-lost. And that's pretty much it for the basic functions on this watch. Now let's see how we can actually use some of these functions. So the two functions I would actually like to use would be um, the heart rate monitor, which we can do it on a spot. And you do this by uh, long pressing this button once you're on the feature. And it should be taking your heart rate like it is now. So somewhere in the high 60s is kind of reasonable for me. Uh, I'm someone in my 30s and healthy and I'm sitting down so this is a reasonable range. Now whenever you get your uh, heart rate and blood pressure range do please make sure to double check it with a um, with a reliable source or a reliable device that you already used before trusting the readings on any fitness tracker any further. Now we're going to take a blood pressure monitor as well, which is also my favorite. Because I know my range that I should be getting. And based on that, I can kind of estimate how accurate uh, the blood pressure monitor on the fitness tracker is. I expect myself to be somewhere in the 110s on the higher number. And about 70 to 80 on the lower number. So this is kind of off. Um, at least based on my previous expectations. It's a little higher than uh, what I would expect for both of the numbers. Um, let's try it again and see if we get something that's more consistent. So give it a couple more seconds here. Um, once you get a final reading, it will vibrate. 
So still about uh, pretty consistently the same as the first reading, uh, which I do not agree with because I expected myself to be somewhere in the low 100, about 110, 120 at the max for the higher number, and uh, about 80 for the lower number. So, um, that this reading I would have to disagree with. Um, but based on the functions and what this bracelet has to offer, for about $20, I think this is a pretty well worth bracelet. Um, it's very lightweight, it's comfortable to wear, and it does not break the bank. It has a IP68 professional waterproof uh, grade, which I uh, really much like, very much like, in addition to having both a heart rate monitor and a blood pressure monitor on the bracelet. So it's very compact for something that you can actually just wear to working out. And for that reason, I do recommend this bracelets but like I said based on what we saw earlier uh, with the readings do make sure that you cross-reference your readings with another uh, with another um, device or something that you already trust before trusting the readings on here any further and uh, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys next time